And let's look at the illustration for the next poem, which is called Santa Claus. And one of the fun things about this tall book series was that they would do like one giant picture kind of broken up by text. And that's what they're doing here. You see the house with Santa about to come down the chimney, kids sleeping in their beds, and the pup waiting down at the base of the chimney by the fireplace for Santa to come down. So let's read the poem. He comes at night, he comes at night, he softly, silently comes, while little brown heads on pillows so white are dreaming of bugles and drums. He cuts through the snow like a ship through the foam, while the white flakes w around him whirl. Who tells him I know not, but, if, but he findeth the home of each good boy and girl. His sleigh is so, his sleigh it is long and deep and wide, it will carry a host of things, while dozens of drums hang over the side with sticks sticking under the strings. And yet not a sound of a drum is heard, not a bugle blast is blown, as he mounts to the chimney top like a bird and drops to the hearth like a stone. The little red stockings he silently fills till the stockings will hold no more. The bright little sleds for the great snow hills are quickly set down on the floor. Then Santa Claus mounts to the roof like a bird and glides to his seat, guides to his seat in the sleigh. Not a sound of a bugle or drum is heard as he noiselessly gallops away. He rides to the east and he rides to the west. Of his goodies he touches not one. He eateth the crumbs of the Christmas feast when the dear little folks are done. Old Santa doeth all that he can. This beautiful mission is his. Then children be good to the little old man when you find who the little man is. And that's the end.